Hi, everybody. I would like to highlight another cycad for you today. This is Encephalardus lemanii, and this is part of this all new rage of blue leaved cycads, as you can see here. This species only naturally grows in the eastern part of South Africa's Cape region. And it just so happens that where this species naturally occurs is alkaline sandstone, and it gets maybe 10 inches of rain in a year. It just so happens that in Encinitas, where we are, we're sitting on an alkaline sandstone ridgeline, and we get about 10 inches of rain a year. So when you're looking for cycads to use in a landscape, and you want to push your landscape toward the more drought tolerant end of the spectrum without losing exotic flair, keep something like this in mind. I want to highlight a couple of the nice horticultural features of this plant. This is probably the most drought durable of all of the blue leaved cycads in our collection. And it actually grows alongside other plants that require things like succulent leaves to store water. Believe it or not, this species is so durable that it can actually last through successive years of drought without dropping leaves. So in a certain sense, this is one of the most evergreen or I guess ever blue species of cycads that you can put into a low water landscape. And when it comes to where to find one of these, again, that can be the tricky thing. Cycads are generally rare across the board. And just like other cycads, the main threat to this in its natural habitat is people coming in and poaching big plants like this one. So in an effort to mitigate all of this, and allow you to use plant material that's as amazing as this species is in your own landscapes, I wanted to highlight this plant in part because we actually have seedlings from this species, Encephalardus leimanii from seed right here, and I thought it would be a neat way for you to see a cycad just emerging from seed. The seed is still actually attached here, and as you notice, it has this almost carrot-like taproot that's really succulent, so early on, this is part of how this species endures these reliable drought periods. And once it gets to be big enough like this one, it can just hang tough through almost anything. We don't actually have two mature specimens of this species. You need a male and a female, as I described. And so part of how we came to have these, which we're looking to offer to all of you in time, is by working with amazing docents and volunteers. And one of our docents is a long-term cycad collector. We brought his plant together and our plant together and made new plants. 